This program is proudly brought to you by Inglis, Australia's leading thoroughbred auctioneer. Buy success, buy Inglis. Well, the eyes of the horse racing world are right here at uh, Riverside Complex at Inglis for the Easter sales. It's been extraordinary. And uh, with that, I'm joined by Adam White, who, of course, is the bloodstock manager for Vinery Stud. How are you, Adam? Oh, good, Tim. Thank you very much. What a remarkable day or so for you guys. Biggest day ever for Vinery. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, those days don't come along very often. Um, but we knew before we came down we had a, a wonderful group of horses. And we had quite a few people coming to the farm to see them before we actually come to the complex. And we were getting a bit of feedback uh, around that time on, on how special the draft the horses were. So, yeah, we, were, we knew we were in for a, a good sale, but yesterday was incredible. Yeah, well, lot five, straight out of the blocks, exceed and excel, uh, 2.1 million, was it? It was, yeah, 2.1 million. We actually sold his father, exceed and excel, as a yearling himself. Um, but he was a special colt. Lot five's sometimes not ideal, nice and early, but we knew with a horse like that there was some very large stallion groups on the horse. Um, so when he came in, there was, there was a, a lot of activity. There were probably seven or eight parties bidding on him, and um, in the end it got down to two, and, and they pushed him to 2.1 million, so it was fantastic. Tell us about a few of the others from yesterday. Uh, we had a, a, also another Exceed and Excel cult that made a million and fifty thousand. Um, he sort of exceeded our expectations before we came down. Uh, we also had a, a really lovely Schnitzel cult. Um, he made one point one million to Kieran Ma, uh, so that was fantastic. And we also had another I'm Invincible cult um, out of a good running mare called Schnitzel and that made nine hundred and fifty thousand. So we ended up uh, with a, an average of about eight hundred and twenty thousand. A really proud day for the organisation and so many people go into this, so many people are employed by this industry and there's a nice tale last night where some of your staff were walking through here and they got a round of applause, tell me more. Oh, they did, yeah. We had a, a couple of beers at uh, our hospitality um, room near our, our stables last night and uh, uh, then we came down and we thought well, we'll, we'll buy the, the, the staff a, a beer here at the sales and we were just walking through this area where we're standing now and a few of the other farm staff were around and they actually applauded our staff as we walked through which was really special so you know they do long hours, they work really hard and uh, to, uh, to get uh, you know the accolation like that was fantastic. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. And one of the things is it hasn't been awfully easy, has it? Particularly when you think of the, the drought and, and other things that have gone over the past few years. Yeah, although, you know, we did go through a drought for, for three years. At, uh, the, the farm's looking in fantastic order this year. And I guess last year's Easter sale was, you know, it was interrupted by COVID, and it, which wasn't ideal. Um, so that was a difficult time and then we weren't really sure how the industry would, would sort of fare through it but all the sales have been terrific this, uh, this year and you know this Sydney Easter sale has just been incredible so credit to Inglis, they've done a fantastic job. Yeah, it's been a cracking couple of days and congratulations to you and the Vinery Start, Adam. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Tim.